Hello friends, those back pages here. I hope you're well. Tonight's episode we're going to be talking about how to prep and what to think about when you're prepping your cards for graded submissions. This applies to both PSA and BGS and SGC. Those would be the three I would submit to. I wouldn't submit to any other companies, but that's just me. You can submit to whoever you want. You could collect however you want. There is no wrong way to collect. So, what you see in front of you are the main tools that I would, uh, I would use if I were submitting, looking over cards to submit for grading. And uh, so let's just say, you know, I happen to be at the my local comic shop, which they have a few packs of cards. They don't carry very many, but they have, they tend to get in the, the latest releases, you know, because they're a diamond distributor, etc. So a gentleman who was there was buying some packs of uh, 2019 Heritage. And uh, he wanted, I think he wanted four. And he was he was handed five, so he put one back. Now, just the heritage, it's a heritage hobby pack, as you can tell by the age right there. Now, so the guy paid for his packs and he left. And then the guy who works there was going to put this this pack back as whoa no no no. Us collectors, we don't put packs back. We just don't do it. So, I'm going to go ahead and rip that here, live for you guys, on video. Let's see if there's anything inside. Oh, there's a Longo. Alex Gordon. Justin Turner. Ooh, RBI leader. Baez, Arenado, Yelch, Aguilar, and Trevor Story. Luis Severino, injured. Chris Taylor. Nick Ahmad. Bird is the word. Steve Pierce. Did I get a high number? I don't know. Let's see. Yes, I did get a high number. So the Severino is a high number. Anything over 400. 401 to 500 is a short print. Number. Yep, so that was a dud. Anyway, so let's say, you know, you pulled out some card, a card or some card that you wanted to submit for grading. That would be great. So you take it, right? <clears throat> and I wanted to uh, take a little time out now to thank Gary. Bink, Bink Scott, you should all be following, subscribe to his channel. He has an amazing collection of, um, it's very focused. So definitely go and check out his channel if you haven't already. But anyway, so he, he said, I he asked if I could do this type of video, so I'm giving it a shot. I think it was a good idea. So anyway, you want to get the first thing you want to do, and I'm not, succeeding at it here is you want to have very good lighting okay what you have here let's just put that card down this was a little thingamajig like a little magnifier that love of the game gave out at the show a couple years ago so you can just you can get a good look you can see right there that corner is not so hot but you can give a, a, a good quick glance over your cards and and if you're super concerned about the assigned grade you want to eliminate you know you want to look at corners blah 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 you want to look at everything and eliminate you know what you deem 
what you see as flaws because if you see it as flaws they're gonna see it as flaws so there's no of course they're gonna miss stuff that's they're humans like everyone else so that's the first class now here what we have is another I can't even remember when I got this but it's like a three-piece let's see three five ten and fifteen multipliers so again you know you can do your due, due diligence and and look it over with that um, what I recommend is this I got I saw someone using one of these at the, the at the show probably must have been two or three years ago I don't remember exactly but I was very impressed by it because I mean it's a 10 time multiplier as you see there you put your your face you put your eye right up to this and you can look through it now the cool part is it lights up let's, let's go to the switch there it lights up so you can really this is definitely not going to show on the camera but you can get a really really good look I mean and this works especially well with uh, with slabs that you can look over a card that's already been graded again it's it, it's not doing it any justice on the camera but you can really go over slabs and get a good look if you think something's been undergraded you can get a, a better idea of what how they assign a grade based on the different criteria so I highly recommend this of all the things I've shown this would be the one thing I would recommend I can't remember I think it was like 20 bucks I don't remember anyway so you look it over and you think this card is really good this is this is a candidate for a 10 the gem mint pen so you're gonna want next up you want to you know some people put these in the penny sleeves I never have um, I guess it depends on your own personal preference some see it as using the penny sleeve is just another risk of damaging the damaging the card before you actually get it in the in the card saver two card saver one you can also use uh, See if I can get Ultra Pro. You can see it right there. It, it's the same. It's essentially the same thing. I don't. Do I have a? Yeah, I do. All right. This is a card saver one, and this is an Ultra Pro. I mean, it, they're essentially the same thing. The card saver ones, I think, are a little bit cheaper, but you buy them in bulk. They're not very expensive. Also, makes for good good storage. In here. I put some of my fish in these nice shiny trout, but you know, it, this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight cards. So, you know, there's eight cards versus eight top loaders, blah, 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 blah. This is a hundred. This is a pack of a hundred. I think so. Yeah, a hundred. So anyway. You can send in your cards in any protect any you could magnetic one touches top loaders snap tights I guess it really doesn't matter what you send them in in but they recommend you use these and I think why they recommend you use these is that I think what they do is and I won't be doing it tonight but I, I think is they they cut you know they're able to cut around like they can cut rather than a top loader if something is in a top loader and they have to you know either shimmy it out or stick their fingers in and pull it out it's just risking more damage more damage to the card that's inside that they're trying to grade so you want to you know you want to lower those odds of damaging something as much as possible because you know they're that's the whole, you know, you just don't want to. But again, there's people that, there are a lot of people in the hobby that dislike these holders. They're just not a fan, and that's fine. 
I happened this just to be, I picked up a case of these a long time ago and it's gonna last forever. Came out to like, I don't even remember, four cents each or something like that. Not even, I don't remember, it's been so long. But I just highly recommend that. That's just my, and again you can, Man, I wish you guys could see this, how clear everything comes out under the tent. And it's got a little, actually it's got a little uh, ruler inside. Again, you're not going to be able to see it, but it's got a little, that white bar there that you see is a ruler. You just can't see it on the camera. But, I mean, it really helps look at stuff closely. You look it up close, you look at it nice, you get a good look at your cards. And then the other the other side of the spectrum I want to say is that, you know, we're all tend to be very harsh on our own cards. Don't be so harsh. You never know what it's going to get. Um, I, would, I would recommend not overanalyzing. I mean, if you're sending in to BGS to get 10s, to get black pristines, yes, then you're going to want to overanalyze. Absolutely. But, you know, gem mint cards have have flaws. That's just how it goes. Just the way it is. So again, don't overanalyze. You know, collect however you want. And if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me. You know, my email is thosebackpages at AOL.com. You know, reach out, get in touch with me. I'm, I'm glad. I'm, I'm a big fan of the text message. So if you want to contact, you want to speak to via text message, that'd be fantastic for me. Um, since joining the YouTube community, my sports card buddy connections have really grown. I'm really appreciative of that. It's just great to uh, keep learning and sharing knowledge and gaining knowledge and all the good stuff. All right, I think that covers all the bases. I hope that was uh, satisfactory. It was. It was kind of. It was fun to to uh, make this episode. I really, I really enjoyed the idea, Gary. I really appreciate it. And uh, I hope you're all well. Until next time, keep collecting.